You know, I'm beginning to understand, you know, I'm a vain person. I'm in it for me. I'm self-centered. Oh yeah, I have a lot of flaws. And one of them being that, you know, I want to be like a popular kid on YouTube. But you know what? It, it, I, I realized that when I look at my life, you know, just in general, I, I, I'm sort of an exclusive person, you know, like, not everyone, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be like cliche and be like, I don't fit the mold, but it's true, I mean, it's people that generally enjoy my, my, you know, I mean, it's, I don't fucking know, it's bullshit, what I was about to say is bullshit, but the fact of the matter is that I've come to terms with my fan base. I'm only referring to it as that because someone else referred to it as that. So if they could say it, then I can say it, right? Okay. So, you know, it might be small, but you know what? They got it. They got it. <laughs> You're the Prince of Nostaria, silly pants. I happen to be one of the people who've subscribed to your mad ramblings. It all started with me watching my crazy friend... Lee Kyle's YouTube videos, your drag ball video just happened to be in a link on her on his page. So I watched it, and I thought it was really sweet. So I watched a few more videos, then I watched them all. You're like a whole decade younger than I am, which makes me feel like a dinosaur, but I admire you for some strange reason. I appreciate your honesty, your unabashed nerdy, nerdiness, your sense of bizarre humor, and your undying need to be heard. So I like you. I don't know if we have much to say to each other, to each other if we met in person, but I like. But I see my being friends with you on MySpace as a way for you to get to know your diverse audience. I support you, and I want you to keep on rocking. Oh, this is the nicest thing I ever was said to me. Maybe I'm just sensitive or something. That that brought a tear to my. That brought a that. That, that opened up a little of the sinus things. I mean, uh, football and jerky. Beef jerky. I'm gonna have some beef jerky. So let's look at the profile. I'm doing you the honor of my very of witnessing my very first impression. Doop 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 glamorous. Wow, what are some high quality videos? <coughs> let's see. God, it must be an okay place in Oregon. Oh. Whether you like it or not, dressing up like a girl has given you a national audience. <laughs> really? Are you serious? Are you serious? National? I mean, I want to... Okay, I, I want, I love doing it, but I'm even contemplating learning the arts of doing it myself, you know, but that's so expensive, and, but I got the facial hair, you guys, and I'm getting a buzz cut soon, and even if I did straighten my hair, it'd be so long right now, you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. I don't know, I mean, I feel like I'm disappointing people by remaining a hairy and soon-to-be short-haired person. I mean, I, I tried to throw you, I tried to, I mean, I, I put on makeup over spring break, but, I mean, I look like shit. <laughs> I mean, um, fuck. Well, you know what I might do? Maybe I'll make like a video, like a photo montage of my various photos. Because I have pictures. 
I mean, you guys can enjoy that, right? I mean, I don't know. If I know, if I even figure out how to do that. Shit. <sighs> you know, I'll say something. You know, makeup makes you look pretty. It makes anyone look pretty. But it only makes you look pretty because that's what society dictates pretty is. So, I don't really care if girls wear makeup. I really don't. In fact, to me, a girl that wears makeup every day, it's, it indicates to me that, you know, they don't have a lot of confidence. And they feel that they would need it. And that's not incredibly attractive. I prefer people to just be natural, you know? If you don't want to shave, then don't shave. If you have a unibrow, then keep it, you know? I don't give a shit. I really don't. I mean... Really. Even with issues of weight, you know? I mean... Because, like, bottom line is that if you love yourself and you love your body, then you're going to be fucking hot, you know? It's all in the attitude. And, you know, this is a very hard... I mean, this is easier said than done. People have lived under these stigmas for, for their whole lives, you know? You can't just suddenly say, Oh, well, everything I was taught Everything that I've experienced up until now has been bullshit, and I'm just going to completely change my ways. But you can begin to be conscious, you know? Not everyone likes a skinny blonde girl. Not everyone likes a really buff, athletic guy. Everyone's different, so no matter what, someone's going to find you attractive. That's true. Because the number one thing that attracts me... Is a personality. Me? You know, I don't even like people that are really... Well, I'm not going to generalize, but... Generally speaking, you know... I, I mean, like... I'm not even... Like, I like a bit of grit. I like a bit of grit. Grit. I'm talking about, like, flaws. Like... I like a pinch of asshole, you know? It's pretty kind of necessary for me, because I myself have a couple handfuls of the stuff. <laughs> so like, I guess what I'm saying is, and I've, I've, I've gone all over the place with this video, but what, I've, what I'm saying is that I, I, I don't think I need to, I, I, I don't, as, as pretty as I am as a girl, I don't, f I don't need to be one to feel pretty. Cause I look at myself like I always do in my face. I don't look at the cat. So dumb. Thank you for your support though. It is so necessary. It really is. If no one said anything, then I wouldn't do this shit. Not that this shit is any good. <laughs> I mean, I look at my videos sometimes and it's like, ooh, you know? But, uh, thank you. One comment. He's already takes to make me very happy. Oh! I'm so, I'm sorry, I'm, Kind of, <clears throat> it's spring. Yes, it's about fucking time. You know, cause I'm so. I'm, it's nice to go outside and be able to be happy at the same time. Cause let me tell you, that that winter was fucking miserable. Fucking miserable.